I'm back in the PE2 for mission 18 of my Stalingrad campaign. Our target today is a railway junction just inside enemy territory to the south of Stalingrad. The bearing heading out of Fyodorovka is about 220 degrees. Once we've hit the target, we will turn towards the north, crossing into enemy territory once again before turning towards home base. We join the mission on the outbound leg, just about to pass over the river Volga, where it splits into two to the southeast of Stalingrad. You can see Stalingrad there to my four o'clock. I have the escort fighters in a column formation above me. Clear skies today, good visibility all around. Ideal weather for bombing. We're up at 2,000 meters altitude, which has been my favored bombing altitude so far, doing a speed of 350 kilometers an hour on a bearing of around 208 degrees. Quite a few airfields around. This one, I think, is uh, just still in friendly territory. The airfield up there to my 11 o'clock is round about where the front line is. We're approaching enemy territory now. There's a railway junction by the river there, which is on the front line. But our target is the next junction down, which I can't quite see at the moment. But what I can see are some enemy planes. There's a flight of planes dead ahead, going right to left. The dogfight happening to my 11.30, just at a slightly lower altitude. The escort fighters haven't moved though, they're stationed above me. Hoping we can just sneak past these bandits and head to target. Okay, it's time to take care of the bombing run. My altitude right now is about 2,100 meters. Airspeed is 360 kilometers an hour. Wind speed at this altitude is 17 meters per second from a bearing of 167 degrees. My current heading is a bearing of around 207 degrees, so the wind is coming from my left by about 40 degrees. Target is in view, straight ahead. So I'm going to turn left a little bit to allow for the wind. And what I'm going to do now is just check how far the wind will impact the bomb drop, lined up the viewing angle with the bomb drop angle. I'm going to switch to bomb mode, there's a tree just here. I'm going to switch to bomb mode and see how far the crosshair shifts. Okay, so yeah, it's probably about just a bit over half of the crosshair circle to the right. Still got some distance to go to the target. 
going to move a little bit more to the left. That course adjustment brings me to a heading of about 200 degrees, so I need to reduce my relative wind direction. And this scale only goes up or down in increments of 5 degrees, so it's not a precise science. Almost overhead target now, so let's bring the viewing angle down to the bomb drop angle, switch to bomb mode. Target is dead ahead, don't need to make any course adjustments. Bombs are away. It looks like I've dropped just a fraction too long. Three of my four bombs did manage to hit. I've destroyed the front part of the train and some of the vehicles that were parked nearby. Most of my wingmen's bombs fell on open ground and it would have been better to have approached this target from the east. Time to egress, we've done a 180 degree turn and we're heading north back towards Stalingrad. Going back to the bomb site, a few vehicles are smoking after taking damage and they've just exploded. A couple of supply trucks and a couple of train carriages have been wrecked. Stalingrad is up ahead, but to my 10 o'clock I've spotted a flight of planes which are probably bandits. There are four planes there, they're about 10 kilometers out, but they are closing in. Temptation is to turn eastwards a little bit and into friendly territory, but I will stay on course and uh, I'll just increase my RPMs, push my throttles up to the max. See if I can build up some speed here. My escorts are there on my port side, but they haven't spotted the bandits yet. It's a flight of 109s and they are closing in and turning onto our six. Here's the view looking backwards from my plane. The four bandits are lining themselves up on R6. The escorts have finally spotted them. They've pushed one of the bandits off to the left. But they don't seem to be engaging the other three. I've switched to the rear gunner position to defend the plane. I think all of the escorts are chasing after just one of the bandits and the other three have been given a free pass to attack us and here they come. haven't managed to land any shots on that bandit but thankfully he's going for my wingman my wingman has been damaged bandit's gone through my 
Our rear gunners are still firing, so the other bandits are coming in now as well. I'm desperately trying to shoot these bandits down, but this gun is not very accurate. There are three bandits coming in now. The escorts are just too far behind. They haven't caught up with them. And they're not even engaging. They've just broken away as the bandits come in. We're sitting ducks here. Another of my wingmen has been hit. There's a bandit shooting me, but all of his shots are going underneath the plane. The wingman that's just been hit has broken formation. He's going to try an RTB. The bandits are buzzing around us and one of them has just lined himself up on my six. I've got no ammunition left in the rear gun, so there's only one thing I can do here, and that is brake right push the nose down, see if I can take some evasive action here, on across the front of my wingman there, but the 109 has followed me and he's got some good hits, taking damage, He's put a number of holes in my left wing and my left elevator. Broken off his attack. The only question here is, am I just leaking fuel or am I leaking coolant as well? If it's just fuel, I should be okay. I'm in friendly territory already. the river Volga up ahead if I can stabilize the plane then I'll try and make it back to base the escorts are there to my five o'clock I really need them to engage these bandits there's another 109 coming in now he's got some hits on my wingman Hopefully he can make an emergency landing somewhere. Heading towards Fyodorovka now to RTB. I believe the bandits have disengaged. The escort fighters are there to my four o'clock. There is a plane to my high five o'clock. I think that's a friendly. My plane is wobbling around a lot. I'm having to use quite a bit of rudder to compensate for the damage to my left wing and elevator. But the engine temperatures look good, so I think I'm just leaking fuel. I should be able to make it back to base. made it back to Fyodorovka and I'm on my final approach to land. There's a strong crosswind and I'm wobbling a little bit as I'm about to touch down. I'm missing one of my left flaps. Oh, that was so close. Thankfully the plane stayed in one piece and I'm down safely.
mission accomplished. Here are my stats. I managed to take out four transport vehicles and eight railroad assets in the end, including the locomotive engine, five cars and two station facilities. The outcome for the squadron overall was okay. Even though most of the bombers didn't hit anything, that's more down to the angle of approach to the target. We only lost two planes. One crew was killed in action, but the other crew has gone MIA. Thanks for watching. See you next time.